Hi there, this is Les Bailey with Keller Williams Realty. We are in Cedar Hill subdivision in front of one of our new listings at 760 West Coville Circle in Palmer. This is a lovely three bedroom, two and a half bath home, 1,650 square feet. It features a uh, family room, a formal living room and dining room, uh, fence backyard, 1,600 and and five square feet <clears throat> and it's aggressively priced at just two hundred and eight thousand I wanted to talk to you a little bit today uh, how we go about determining value and uh, who actually determines value <clears throat> value is uh, first of all real estate sales for five reasons the first reason is location 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 and location the second reason is price. The third thing that sells real estate is the condition of the property and uh, the unique features and amenities that that property has. The fourth thing that sells real estate is terms. What's going on with interest rates? Will the, the seller participate with the buyer in closing costs? And such things as when can I have occupancy? The final thing that sells real estate is the realtor who the seller lists the property with. <clears throat> now uh, let's talk briefly about who determines value and how we as real estate agents go about making recommendations of value to our sellers. Uh, value is determined by the economic principles of supply and demand. When the supply's up and the demand's down, real estate values follow. They go down. When the supply is uh, down and the demand is up, the real estate values follow. They go up. And uh, rec recommending a price to a seller, uh, good realtors look at what that property is competing against. They look at what properties, similar type properties that are in pending status, and they also take a look at the properties that have sold within the, the last six months. We try to, uh, we, we as realtors always uh, recommend that they look more closely at the sold properties because those are the success stories. The uh, properties that are listed don't take, uh, tell us much because sometimes sellers and their realtors alike have a tendency to overprice properties and we see the values going down as the seller chases the market down to a price where it will actually sell. The final thing that determines value is most lenders, if there's a loan involved, are going to require a fair market appraisal. And so appraisers actually come in and uh, look at the similar type properties that have sold and come up with a appraised value. So thank you very much for visiting with us and we'll talk to you soon.